Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am in the process of making Oregonite, Organite, and um, to make it you need some um, epoxy resins and I was thinking about how much I'd really like to try making this and one day I walked by and there was a two bottles of this epoxy part A and B, so I take it home and now I'm uh, collecting the, some of the crystals and some of the metal wire and stuff to make it with. So these guys, they gave me some uh, really thick wire that like you used to wire in the street. And it's 1.32 in the morning here, and I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but uh, let's see. I got this really long piece of wire, it's like six feet long, and it's really heavy. Heating up the plastic part because the plastic is made from like 1200 degrees or something, 600 degrees. It's a really, really thick cable. Uh, I don't know what the engine is, but uh, it's got about six strands of, uh, I think, uh, eight gauge uh, copper. So I'm heating up the plastic to like, you know, get it to uh, almost melt and then cut it off with the razor blade because it's about the only way to do it unless you have a special tool that they use to uh, cut these things up. And, uh, turn that down. I can't see this one anyway. I'm taking the razor and cutting along the, the plastic part. Uh, if you do it right, you can... About a foot, uh, 12, 13 inches at a time. Maybe a little less. And, uh, the insulation is really thick. So I usually cut it twice and then heat it. Cut it once, heat it, then cut it again. And pull it off. Uh, being really careful not to cut myself. Uh, it's really thick. Anyway, so um, I got these little cups that I'm going to use as molds, and um, the way this stuff is supposed to work is like this layers of organic, inorganic, and metallic uh, pieces layered together, uh, some kind of piezo pressure, or, you know, I don't know exactly. It's sort of like you throw it all in a, in a mold and, and shake it up, so you put the, the layers of metal and epoxy with the quartz crystals inside and other <coughs> minerals and um, the most interesting I learned thing I learned yesterday was about tourmaline the mineral tourmaline is not only beautiful um, uh, like orthogonal crystals um, but comes in all these colors of the rainbow <laughs> and also um, it gives off uh, piezoelectric, that means when you hit it or squeeze it, uh, mechanical compression, it, it gives off electricity. Uh, pyroelectric, which is when you heat it in some way, friction, whatever, you know, change the thermos, <coughs> it gives off electricity, excuse me, and it's one of the few elements that uh, in Earth's atmosphere without any special doing anything to it, gives off, um, I think, far infrared, gives off light, gives off radio waves in the spectrum of the far infrared, all by itself. What a gift. And that can cause heating and it can cause, uh, it can be used for other things. But um, minerals that give off energy and aren't radioactive, they use the tourmaline in like um, sports heating pads and stuff. They also have uh, hair uh, hair utensils. <laughs> I can't think. Anyway, um, it's pitch black and 
I'm going to finish what I'm doing. So thanks for watching and God bless you all.